hello so the last the rest of this vod was lost so we're redoing it if my voices are not consistent with the 20 minutes before and the rest of the series after it's because um it's literally months later like it's it's several months later and i i don't remember everyone's voices it would have been smart of me to go back and find them and i just i didn't have time i had to replay like a bunch of this game to get us back to the point we need to be at um it just didn't happen uh if you are in chat right now i'm gonna very kindly request that we don't spoil anything for the rest of this game so what we've gotten through is um we we're on like the island we're at the very end of the island so we have not done the hillscape place or the walled city so anything from that point on we're just gonna pretend we haven't gotten there yet sorry about that in the time for people watching this vod we have completed all of the latent games uh so we're not gonna talk about the spin-offs because i'll post those later and we're not gonna talk about the original trilogy this is not gonna be necessarily fun for anyone but i need to do it for my brain so that's that and the cursor i don't know how to get rid of the cursor Oh, I played it for almost seven hours yesterday? My god, and it was just me rapidly clicking. So, that's good. Yeah, I should have listened to voices. I did not have time for that. <laughs> I was redoing things. I was doing so many things, and this took way long. I thought I was gonna be able to get through it way faster than I ended up being it. Um, the person Old Red has been looking for turns out to be an elderly lady named Ruby, Scarlet's grandmother. Layton and the others take her with them as they head back to the abandoned mine for a third time. But they just keep going back to the abandoned mines. And if I'm not, like, doing as many puzzles, guys, it's because, like, I fully don't need to. <laughs> I know that's part of the fun, but, like, we're gonna stick to, like, the required puzzles. And I have, I'll do more Azran puzzle streams at some point. I've only at this point finished, I think, maybe near, uh, Spectre's Call for puzzles. So. Oh god, yeah, um, I switched computers between time to. Citra does not work as well on this computer, so everything loads in weird, and I'm very sorry. Here she is, Old Red. This is the person you were looking for, isn't it? Ah, he- God, he looks awful. I'm so sorry, Luke. Oh, she's floating. Oh, Red, is that really you? That helpless little pup I rescued way back when. <laughs> run, run? Run? I don't actually know what these sounds are for a dog. I remember not wanting to do them when I played this the first time. You finally twig, then. It's me, old Red. It's Ruby. Well, someone likes good pampering. Look at you all puppy dog eyed and mellow as honey. You ain't changed a bit, old boy. You knew you was hurting and you tried to see this decrepit old lady one last time. You're a real tear jerker, you know that? This dog is so old. Oh god, they load in and out so bad. He promised to return that pendant to you one day. That's why he was so desperate to find you. That's so. That's so. Fuck my mic. I hit it with my hand. When I gave you that pendant, I thought it was a bit as a sign that there'd always be a special bond between us. Always. It doesn't feel right to be taking it back. But if it's what you really want. <laughs> There we go. Huh. What's the matter, old boy? He says the pain went away. Oh my, so this pendant's the thing that's been causing you all that bother. Bother? Bother? Bother. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? God, you were just a tiny pup when I met you. I didn't think about it getting tied around your neck as you got bigger. Oh, God. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, no. So, Old Red wasn't really ill after all. He must have been able to perceive that 
that something was wrong, but unable to pinpoint the exact problem. So, it was a bit of a wild goose chase in the end. Still, all's well that ends well, I suppose. We did, eh? Uh, doesn't it just get sad at now, though? Old Red did not come to Torito to scare its inhabitants. In fact, the wolf only wished to return a pendant to the girl who once saved his life. The people of Torito can rest assured that they have no need to fear Old Red. Dog is barking upstairs. Well, I'll be. I never believed it. I trust Torito will welcome him in the I trust Torito will welcome him in, him in now. Fuck! I assure you, old Red is a gentle creature. He will never attack this town or its people. After all, this is where his best friend lives. My eyes are trailing me one thing, but in my head it's still done wash. Or hang it at all. Oh no. Oh hang it all. I can't read tonight, that's not a good thing. He's a real curly wolf, ain't he? Oh wait, doesn't he die? Maybe now you'll stop being such a croaker and keep an open mind. Now I have a question for you, Mr. Lady. You didn't just come here to help old Red out of the kindness of your heart, now did you? Alas, no. That was not our original goal. We were actually hoping to acquire the pendant that was around old Red's neck. You want this pendant? That's the reason you've been chasing me, old boy, around like a hungry coyote. I suppose now that there ain't nothing to stop him coming down to see. Maybe won't. we don't need it no more. Go on, take it before I change my mind. Are you quite sure, madam? Now what should I just say? All else I can do is, is give it a scarlet, much as she don't care for it. When I first saw that tall hat of yours, I thought, Ruby, your granddaughter's falling in with a red crown. But now I see it ain't so. Take it already. Got a hunch you'll need it more than I, she or I. Reading is so hard. Egg acquired. Thank you, Ruby. Your kindness shows new bounds. We're glad to have been of assistance. Well then, it's time for us to depart. After we'll cross paths again in the future. Ah! God, the loading time's so horrid. Or the loading... Oh, I guess he doesn't die. Why did I think old... Red died? I know I've been told he's Scottish. Oh, I'm not good at Scottish. Well, we're just gonna do British. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think I was doing British before anyway. Welcome back, sirs and madams. I trust your expedition was a roaring success. It was indeed, and we were able to obtain an egg thanks to Luke's unconventional language skills. Yep, being able to talk to animals certainly has its advantages. That's marvelous news. I shall begin preparations for our departure whenever you are ready. You know, this egg is the first Azran artifact to be discovered in this part of the world. I had no idea the Azran once lived here. Oh god! Oh, it's crunching. Oh, it's crunching. Hello, Hannah. Welcome, welcome. It's so crunchy sometimes, and I apologize a thousand times. I'm gonna try to fix and figure this out before we start verses. Um... You just dropped my ring. Uh, just a reminder, I'm gonna keep us to no spoilers tonight. I know it's not super fun, but this VOD is going in the middle of the Azran stuff, so I think it would be weird if we talk about spoilers. Especially if anyone is watching it who doesn't know Layton, so... Just a reminder, I don't know if you saw my message. <laughs> oh, fuck! I was like, I kind of remember everyone, and I never had a consistent enough Sycamore voice for it to matter. Um... But Aurora voice? <laughs> I know it was consistent, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, it'll be fine. It's fine. We did, but even in our time, it was an arid land. Sure. Aurora, you've recovered memories of this place. Partially, yes. I recall that the Azran once tried to rejuvenate this time land, but their technology was, at the time, insufficient. They could not restore balance to its ecosystem. That is all I remember. Fascinating. So the Azran like us lived through ages of varying technological process. Progress. Maybe. Just like they started out like people in the Stone Age with really primitive tools. Luke, the Azran were like before the Stone Age. 
the Azran are so old. Every time they're like, this is when the Azran existed, I'm like, no fucking way. <laughs> A very probable theory, Loop. Mankind is always built upon the past in the hope of founding an ever brighter future. And now that Torito has made peace with Earth Red, they can look forward to a brighter future too. I wholeheartedly agree. Well, I believe it's about time for us to depart, shall we? Fantastic. Ah, for some reason I was like really convinced Old Red was about to die. <laughs> I don't remember why, and I was just like, oh god. Hi. <laughs> just standing there ominously. <laughs> I do think it's funny how he just has to stand there. Oh, you can see how I started to do Sangrio before realizing that, like, I had done it for the VOD. Like, we had the full VOD. Okay, so we are on Hillside, a lush and breezy pasture. A rustic idol known for its strong winds, its self-reliant population, making a living farming the lush surrounding pastures. The great news is I remember exactly zero puzzles at any given point. There are so few puzzles where I remember, like, the solutions, so this will be like I'm just doing it for the first time ever. Phew, that was an awfully bumpy old journey. I thought the Bostonius was going to flip over at one point. Oh, turbulence. I trust everyone is alright. Of course. Don't worry, Raymond. Luke's just a bit of a scaredy cat, that's all. Hey, just because you weren't frightened doesn't mean you can make fun of everyone else. I'm afraid I was unprepared for such strong headwind. My inability to predict this development is a stain on my reputation. Sorry, I heard something, someone walking around. I was trying to figure out if they needed me. Don't be so hard on yourself. The weather's nothing if not unpredictable. Hi, I'm sensing something. The light of the Azran shines brightly in this area. Oh? You seem really confident about that, Aurora. Yes, it's as though I'm being guided. Guided by some powerful force. Well, that's got to be a good sign, right? The Azran are practically showing us the way. I urge you all to take care. I shall be here awaiting your return as always. Ah. God. I did just realize I was supposed to write down um, what line I need to stop in, but when we get to the walled city, I'll, like, check. We can take a little break and I'll check. But I know we have to get through all of this and a good amount of the walled city. Ooh, that was a lag. The Emmy and Luke content in this game is just really, really good. Like, I was clicking through it and I was like, man, this, this was good. Wow, just look at that view. You can see for miles and miles up here. Ah, oh, shit. Sycamore, what the hell is your voice gonna be? Um... <laughs> this village goes by the name of Hoogland. It's a farming community nestled among a range of tall mountains. My word, it is terribly windy. I ought to watch the wind doesn't blow my hat clean off. You'd do well to watch out, Professor. Look at the size of those windmills. It must take quite a gust to get them turning. Seeing things like this is a real reminder of what a force of nature can be. It's astounding. And if Aurora thinks there's an egg around here, then I can't wait to get started on our investigation. Oh, oh. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for you to hone your talents as a photographer too, Emmy. Definitely. My shutter's going to get a real workout. In fact, perhaps that friendly looking gentleman over there will agree to pose for a couple shorts. Yeah, I actually don't need to focus on any puzzles that aren't required. Uh, Joachim. Oh, right, I don't remember what this- this is like not an accent I can do, so I think we're just gonna go with boring American. Oh, travelers, are we? You did well to find us all the way out here. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind having your photograph taken? A photomograph of me. 
Uh, if you are a young lady, I suppose I'd better strike a pose you than here. Oh, nice. That's a great photo. Right, one more. All right, that's enough now. You don't want to be wasting your camera film on me. Not with the wedding ceremony about to start. A wedding? How wonderful. And it's the perfect day for one, too. For it? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, a pretty young lady like you would make a fine bride yourself, you know? Uh, if you say so. Oh, I do. Now you'd better hurry if you want to catch a glimpse of the bride. See you around, eh? Sure. Can we check it out, Professor? I'd like to see what a Hoogland wedding is like. Oh, oh, don't forget why we're here, Annie. Though I confess I'm rather curious myself. I think that this was, like, Dutch, right? Because of, like, all the windmills? Is, is Dutch the place with the... Why am I thinking... Yes, they have windmills. Yes, okay, yes. I was like, the Netherlands has windmills, right? <laughs> they have windmills? Ah. Um, I, I, the, the, yeah, I, there's no way. I cannot do that accent, for sure. I don't even want to try because I don't even think I'd get remotely close, so we're just not going to... No, we're not going to do it. Don't worry, Professor. I plan to multitask. We'll be leaving here with a stack of wedding photos and the Azran egg. She's building up a portfolio. I certainly hope so, Amy. Now let's continue into the village, shall we? Ah, they pop in and out in such a terrible way. Ooh. Citra. Oh, what a fresh breeze. He's suspicious of the wind. What's wrong, Professor? Raise yourselves, everyone. For wind? Oh, for a cutscene. Brace yourselves for a cutscene, <laughs> folks. <sighs> Luke is so tiny, he's gonna blow away. Luke is gonna go flying. Someone hold him down. Good grief. So real, Professor. Good grief indeed. Ah, phew! What in the world was that? I'm surprised it didn't blow these houses away. Or me! I lost my cursor. Look around, Luke. It kind of did. You see the wedding party. They seemed complete. Wait a minute. <laughs> Can we just acknowledge the fact that the professor was like, hmm, I think the wind is about to get a lot stronger because Aurora was like, ooh, that's a fresh breeze. And he was like, hold on, everyone, hold on to your hats. Like, how did you know? <laughs> how did this guy know? He was just like, hmm, suspicious. <laughs> so weird. This guy's so weird. They seemed completely undeterred by what just happened. I mean, okay. I I don't I think kind of everyone is. Like if you lived here, you would be used to that, right? Like have you seen people have you seen people? Have you seen videos of people like on a boat and the boat is like tilting pretty severely and they just kind of like shift so they're still walking, but they're shifting along with the boat as it's rocking in pretty heavy waves. I imagine it's something like that, where like, if you're not used to it, it's gonna fuck you up real bad. But if you're used to it, you're kind of just like, eh, now we crouch down out of the wind and now we keep going, you know? To think they would still consider going ahead with a ceremony after witnessing such destruction of, to the village. Astonishing. It really is. Let's find out where they were headed, Professor. There must be someone around here who can tell us. Here's the sheep. Oh. Oh! That was a joke. Yeah, he want my hat. Excuse me. The bride who was just over there. Do you know where she was going? Hmm? Bride? You mean Romilda, do you? Eh? I suppose so. I was hoping to take some photographs of the ceremony, you see. Oh, you want to take a photograph of Romilda, but not one of me, eh? This puzzle will teach you to be so rude. Citra really hates my ass. 40 out of 40 peak rats. Puzzle 70, counting sheep. If this farmer has a flock of around 400 sheep to keep, oh, I for remembered this and I remember not liking it. Keen to find out the exact number he started counting. 
He counted them in batches, hoping to save time, but lost track at the end anyway. All remember he remembers his account when he counted them three at a time, he had one left over. We count them four at a time, he had two left over. When he counted them five at a time, he had four left over. When he counted them seven at a time, he had two left over. Can you work out how many sheep he had? I think I did math for this one. I think this was a math boy. It's cute art though. Oh, good lord. Oh, I actually, let, hold on, let's see if I, Okay, Emmy, time to shine. <laughs> oh, Bring that's incredible. So I did write down some notes for Azran Legacy, and the second one I wrote down was 3A plus 1 equals about 400, and then uh, Z equals number of sheep. I don't know where a Z came in, but I had circled the number 394. I have all of this math to figure out sheep, so I didn't have to do it again. Perfect. I didn't take many notes, although all the ones in here that I did take notes on are math, which tracks. Hello, Nate. Welcome. We did do this game already. However, I lost this section of the VOD, so we are redoing it. Uh, because otherwise I cannot continue uploading VODs. It'll really ruin my brain. So that's why we're doing this. We are in a no spoiler zone, but I don't know if you know any spoilers, so it doesn't matter. Ah, we solved your puzzle. Now, will you tell us the way to the wedding ceremony, please? The wedding's happening on the chapel up on that hill. That's where Ramilda's headed. I see. Well, thanks for your help. I'll come back and take some photos around here it's just as soon as the wedding's over. It really is a lovely little village. Well, if you like it so much, why don't you get married like Amelda? Then you'd be part of the village forever and ever. If a nice looking lady like you got hitched here, it would definitely make the village a happier place to be. Did someone just call me? Hold on. Hello, sorry, um, my Stanley got a stone in his paw at some point, we don't know when, and he had to go to the vet today and get it taken out, and so he's in a boot, and I needed to get instructions about tomorrow, uh, because I'm home alone with him. That's not the right button. That's also not the right button. Oh my god. Um, and... He went outside for a little bit just now, and he came inside? And he didn't have his boot on. So... Anyway... And Emmy just got told she should get married here. That's where we're at. Well, thank you, I suppose. You're welcome, Lee. Bye-bye. Bye. So the bride's gone to the chapel. Is everything alright, Professor Sycamore? Oh, yes. I was just wondering where the groom was, that's all. Well, he's probably waiting for her there. That's usually what happens, isn't it? Yeah, that's why he's got that cone on. I sent it in the chat. He's got a cone on, so we can't pick at his foot. 
Look, there must be the chapel up there. Let's go and see for ourselves. Here, I will share it with the... to the screen really quick so everyone can see uh, what's going on with the with the big man himself it's gonna be so huge for some reason um, some reason Apple photos are always fucking ginormous Couldn't tell you why, Twitch makes them so, not Twitch, OBS makes them so huge. Puppy, you're looking at a puppy. He's in his cone right now and he's not happy about it. <laughs> he's really not happy about it. Yeah, so he's gotta be in it for a while, that and his boot, and he is not a happy camper. His foot needs to heal. God, why is every time I try to go somewhere, this game, this game system is like, mm, 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 mm. no, 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 no. Well, it appears, sir, we've made it in time for the wedding ceremony. Something's not right there. There seems to be a bit of a kerfuffle going on. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot. I forgot these were their names. I forgot these were their names. Saint Shepherd, wait! Hear me speak but once more. This nightmare tortures me, consumes my soul. Why must you push her through the chapel door? Why must Ramilda face such misery? I beg, Saint Shepherd, close that chapel door. My fair Ramilda merits not this fate. Oh God. Julian, stop it, would you? Romilda, thou you say this is your will. It surely cannot be what you desire. Deny thy custom and refuse its aim. Jesus Christ. Listen, I'm happy. I want to be the Dragon Lord's bride. I'm happy, all right? So, I guess this is it. Goodbye, Julian. I know it doesn't seem like it now, but you'll be happy again someday. I know it. Romilda, this cannot- Today we witness the union of Romilda and the mighty dragon lord. A union that will bless our fair village with fair winds. Come fair winds, bring your blessed breezes to bear upon this our village. Fuck, reading. It is time to seal this union. Close the chapel door. I, I read a- I think I brought this up when we played this before, but I actually read a book that had a somewhat similar. Say, Shepherd, please undo what you've done. The wedding ceremony is concluded. Mule and cry all you like, dear boy, but know that nothing will change. Cool. Romilda is now the Dragon Lord's wife. Romilda, dear sweet Romilda. It's called "The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea" by Axie O. And I got an arc with it. And, um, her people believe the sea god, once their protector, now curses them with death and despair. In an attempt to appease him each year, a maiden is thrown into the sea to serve as the sea god's bride in the hopes that one day the true bride will be chosen and end the suffering. Many believe that Shim Chiang, I don't think I said that right, I'm so sorry. The most beautiful girl in the village and the beloved of Mina's older brother, June, may be the legendary true bride, but on the night Cheong is to be sacrificed, June follows Cheong out to the sea, even knowing that to interfere is a death sentence. To save her brother, Mina throws herself into the water in Cheong's stead. Anyway, I actually, I think I liked the book. What did I rate it? I rated it four stars. I did enjoy it. I had a good, no, I gave it 3.5, but for the most part, I did very much enjoy it. So if you like fantasy, the girl who fell beneath the sea. Pretty good. Oh, the youth of today. Just a casual book recommendation mid-latent stream. Mid-conversation mid-latent stream. Hell 
looks as though the wedding ceremony is finished. Hmm. It is a shame you couldn't take any wedding photographs after following the bride all the way here. What we just saw was not a wedding, Aurora. I know you don't really know things, but that was not a wedding. No? No, something is very wrong here. We should talk to the man in the blue gown and find out what's going on. <laughs> no worries, Anna. I would love to see the other guy, though, if you want to show us any pictures of your pumpkin. Bless you, travelers. Thank you for visiting our village. The ceremony is over now, but please stay a while and enjoy the local area. Actually, I was rather hoping to ask you about the ceremony we just witnessed. You see, I was planning on taking some photographs, but that wasn't like any wedding I've ever seen. Photographs of Romilda. Well, I'm afraid it's a little late for that, dear girl. Romilda is now married to the Dragon Lord. Her soul shall soon depart this chapel to blow a fair wind through our village. Her soul shall depart? You mean she'll die? You sacrificed her! How could you do such a thing? My dear ladies, you witnessed the vicious whirlwind that struck the village a moment before the ceremony, did you not? Yes, its force was quite frightening. I've never seen anything like that before. That whirlwind was a manifestation of the Dragon Lord's wrath. Sorry, I was just checking something because I was like, wait a minute, I, is there a Dragon Lord? For some reason I was thinking about drag. There's a lot of fantasy creatures. Um, they're like different types of beings in the girl who fell beneath the sea and for some reason my brain was like mis mixed some of them up and I was like did that book also have a dragon lord no it has a sea god <laughs> but like um like the dragons are sea creatures so that's why I was thinking of you understand you get it you get it you understand we all get it it is to appease the wrath that we present that we present, that we present the Dragon Lord with a bride from the village. It is a bride's duty to relinquish her human form and become a gentle breeze, blessing our village for so long as it may last. So, she is going to die. This is unacceptable. Open that door right now. Absolutely not. The ceremony has been held in this village since time immemorial. Do you truly think we'd allow some puerile tourist girl to come along and ruin everything by opening the chapel door? I would advise you to forget what you have seen here, dear girl. We had all about this village and enjoy the rest of your trip. Ugh! Look how thick that door is. It's an old chapel. It's a prison. And though the man implied this is an ancient ceremony, I find it hard to believe there's a connection to the Azran in this. This isn't the time to think about the Azran, Professor! What about that poor bride? If we don't find a way into that chapel, she's going to die in there. We can worry about the egg later. She's like, hey, focus! Stop thinking about the Azran! Hmm. Stay calm, Emmy. I understand how you feel, but we should first consider our options before doing anything rash. But Professor Sick. Everyone, please, listen. I sense it. I can sense the force of the Aura Stone. It's coming from inside the chapel. Huh? Oh. What does this mean? There's more. There's another force inside the chapel. Something more powerful than the Aura Stone. Something related to the Azran. But surely this chapel was built long after the demise of the Azran. How can the two possibly be connected? I... I don't know. Well, there must be some connection. Aurora wouldn't be sensing something here otherwise. Either way, I still think that Bride is our top priority. At least now we have two reasons to find a way into the chapel. I suppose you're right. Let's start by asking around the village for more information. Hopefully someone can point us in the right direction. Mr. Sycamore is an as- No, literally, all he's doing is thinking about Azran at all times. The Bride of Hoogland. Hoogland is a home- Nope. Hoogland is home to a disturbing custom in which a young lady from the village is selected to be the Dragon Lord's Bride and locked up in the local chapel as part of their wedding ceremony. Why on earth do they persist with such a tradition? 
the people of Hoogland seem to think that the whirlwinds affecting their village are the work of a certain dragon lord. Wakey, wakey, video game. Boozle. I can't believe that silly Ramelda stopped talking to Julian in front of the chapel. The dragon lord will have been irked, I'm sure. Uh, excuse me, madam. I wonder if I could trouble you for a few details concerning Ro Julian and Romilda. Almost fucked that up. Goodness me, no. I can't talk about something like that with someone out from outside the village. Well, we saw them both talking outside the chapel. Oh, embarrassing they are. How dare they act like that? Their antics always were a disgrace to the whole village. Appalling. Do you really think so? Well, of course I do. Who wouldn't? Don't you think it's more appalling that you're carrying on with these outrageous ceremonies? Sticking your nose into village business, are you? Want to know all about our customs? I assure you, madam, we're simply... Planning to write a big article about us, I bet. I've seen you journalist types before, always sniffing around. We're not sniffing around for anything. We just want to find out more about the chapel so we can go and rescue Romilda. Be quiet, will you? We will not talk of such things. Who do you think you are, strolling in here, trying to change our way of life? I demand you leave this instant. If it weren't for this puzzle I need solving... Really good, ma'am. Pampering your pets. You've decided to give some treats to your pets who all like different things, but you've forgotten which each animal what what each animal likes. You're sure that A likes either ice cream or chocolate. Ah fuck, Jesus. That B uh no. Ice cream or chocolate that B likes pie or ice cream that C likes pie or chocolate and it's either A or D that's the ice cream thing Unfortunately, you have no idea which pet likes cake. Using the information you do remember, give your pet their favorite treat. He likes either ice cream or chocolate. So if A likes ice cream, I'm gonna try to do it this way. If A likes ice cream, then C must like pie, and B must- No, if A likes chocolate, C must like pie, B must like ice cream, D must like cake. Why'd I use white? If A likes chocolate- Wait, what did I say? If A likes chocolate, C must like pie, B must like ice cream, D must like cake. I don't actually feel good about that. Now that I've said it out loud, I'm like, ah, I don't right. know. I'm all set. Nope, that's not it. What will the professor say? Girl, I don't know. Make you be use the memo function. Yeah, I know. Memo, memo, memo. I think actually A needs to be the ice cream fan. Maybe? Texting someone about the dog. Okay. If A likes ice cream, then I 
think this might have to still be D, and then these just get swapped around a little. Yeah, that feels good. That said that. Well, I did it in the worst way, so we're gonna assume yes. Okay, Emmy, time to shine. Ooh, that was sped up. Bring Sign, on the next time. one. Uh, this kind of pet, Nante. I had a feeling you'd be able to help me. You journalists are supposed to be good at giving people what they want. Well, I'm sure you'll refuse to believe me, but we're really not journalists. Madam, please, we only wish to gain a better understanding of what took place here in the village today. You've got honest eyes. And I'll tell you what's going on. Romilda and Julian were engaged to be married, Nancy. They'd been going out for years. Oh no. A lovely couple they were. I'm sure they'd have been very happy together if it weren't for this ceremony business. This village lives in fear of the Dragon Lord, you see. That's why we make the sacrifices. I know, the idea of it is awful. Where is Julian now? You'll probably find him near his windmill. I warn you, though. Now, no, I warn you now, though. The poor boys will be nigh on inconsolable. Many thanks for your assistance, Miss Beatrix. Now you better move along. People will get suspicious if they see me talking to you. Let's head to Julian's windmill. We need to have a word with him. Miami really comes and goes. I used to be so solid in Miami. He is stanced. Hello there, Julian, I presume. You... you were outside the chapel, were you not? I fear I have no time for idle chat. Why not? What are you doing? If you must know, I wish to lick my wounds. Romilda, parting is such bitter sorrow. Almost, you know, I mean, she's dead. Oh, I don't believe it. Romilda's life is in danger, and all you can do is stand around moping. Did you not hear the words that left her lips? She gladly weds the wrathful dragon lord. Besides, she casts me into darkness deep, deep. No greater, clearer sign can e'er she show, for she holds me. No, for me she holds no will, no need, no love. You don't really believe that, do you? Oh. Oh, woe is me. Poor Julian has just endured a genuinely harrowing experience, Emmy. I doubt we'll be able to reason with him right away. But, Professor! Our apologies, Julian. Romilda. Gentle, sweet Romilda. Look, Julian, why don't you come with us to rescue her? There still might be. T there still may be time. Nope, there may still be time if we go to the chapel straight away. With keen eyes, the chapel they do watch, and Shepherd surely shall not let us in. All is futile. I beg you, strangers, leave me be. Begone, for I am not the hero you require. Oh, he left. Julian is going to need a little more time to pull himself together, it seems. Well, in that case, we'll have to find a way to the chapel by ourselves. My thoughts exactly. And we will awkwardly clip out of existence. Still here, I see, young lady. You know, if you like the village so much, you could always get married here. To be frank, I find your village utterly disgusting. Ooh, looks like it's true what they say about big city girls. Rude, spoilt, and empty-headed. Huh. People around here grow up tough, see? It's not just the wind, there's all the geological subsidiance, too. Hold on. Geological substance? say that the whirlwinds are not the only natural disasters you have to contend with here. Ooh, pretty sharp part you top at. Yes, this land's full of holes. They've been, there have been lots of accidents over the years. The place of the hill where the chapel stands is now especially bad. You have to fill in hole after hole to build a house around there. The hillside where the chapel stands? That's right, the whole thing is riddled with holes and tumbles all the way round. 
build, and round there's a nightmare. That's why everything's so higgledy-biggledy up here, see? And that's why you city types can't handle it. Is that so? Many thanks for all the information, sir. Your words have been most enlightening. Ooh, always happy to help, not to boast or anything, but there's no one who knows more about me than me about this village. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it, Professor? Who'd have thought the chapel would be surrounded by tunnels? A surprising revelation indeed. Surely it's no coincidence that the chapel was built in such a spot. I believe there's an extremely high possibility that one of those tunnels will lead directly into the chapel's interior. Wow, really? But I can't see any holes or tunnels from here, Professor. Say, why don't we take a look at the other side of the hill, over near that forest? Perhaps there are some tunnels over there. A fine idea, Emmy. My only concern is that we may get lost among the trees if we head in there without a guide. You do that in so many times in this. Like, you did that earlier in this game, I think. I bet Julian knows his way through the forest, but he's probably still too upset to help us at the moment. You may be right, Luke. Let's continue our investigation. Perhaps we will discover something that will motivate him to help us. Limiting conversations to what is 100% necessary. You appear rather downhearted, Sage. Oh, wait, no, fuck. Sorry, I was looking. I saw Sage and I saw the S and I was like, got it, Sage Shepherd. No, this is Sycamore. Fuck me. You appear rather downhearted, Sage Shepherd. To serve the Dragon Lord is my calling. When my work is done, I am but human. I lead just like any other. Don't expect us to feel sympathy for you. I don't. Still, it is not easy to see a man ra so racked with guilt. Oh, mighty dragon lord, grant me your assistance. These strangers have come to torment my soul. You're the tormentor around here, locking up away all those so-called brides. I have locked no one away. Each one of the dragon lord's brides have entered the chapel willingly with joy in their heart. Joy. I must admit, I find that hard to believe. This is ridiculous. There's no way all those women entered willingly. What about from Milda? I saw her going into the chapel, and she didn't look the least bit joyful. But did she seem afraid? I assure you, she was not. She proceeded of her own volition. Hers was a sacrifice we can all admire. I do understand your point of view, believe me. Even I sometimes wish to put an end to the tradition. And appears to be rather conflicted in his own particular way. Conflicted or not, his beliefs and actions make him a dangerous man. We cannot allow him to cause any harm. She must have known she was going to die. She must have been afraid. And yet she kept all that emotion buried. It's terrible. Hmm. Ah, I wonder. What if the brides truly aren't afraid of going into the chapel? What do you mean, Professor? I think I understand what you're getting at. We may have been laboring under a significant misapprehension. Indeed, though we cannot be certain yet, of course. These two fuckers love to come and, like, understand something, and then not tell any of us what the fuck they're talking about. They love to be vague back and forth to each other. I have a horrible feeling that someone is watching us. It's okay, Aurora. You've got nothing to worry about while I'm around. I'll kill them. I think I was rewatching the beginning the other day because I was playing this game. And it's so funny because Emmy, her, she sees this wall of ice and her first instinct is to just roundhouse kick it and then be shocked that it doesn't break. She's just like, what the fuck? And therefore I do think she could kill anyone trying to hurt Aurora. Like, it's so funny. She was just like, I think I'll kick this ice, and it'll work. It didn't, but like, it's funny that she tried. We'll only arouse for further suspicion if we start to act rashly. Let's go collect a bit more information and then go talk to Julian. Emmy kick and Emmy punch. Real indeed. We do have to talk to this guy down here. <clears throat> I'm ready to have my photograph taken any time. Do it now before you run out of camera film. I mean, Romelda's turned into wind, so you can't take any photographs of her. It's gotta be my turn now, eh? Uh, 
aren't locking someone in a chapel that's supposed to turn them into wind, is it? Eh, you don't think it's true? Well, it is. Every the bride turns into wind. Everyone knows that. I've even got proof. When the ceremony's over, see, and everyone's forgotten all about it, Old Shepherd opens the door. And the only thing that's left behind in the chapel is the bride's wedding dress. I saw it with my own two eyes. Her wedding dress? That's right, lady. Well, not just the dress, the shoes, the veil, all that stuff. Just lying in a pile on the floor. Which means the bride's turned into wind. There's no other explanation, is there, eh? Ba ba. So the bride's just disappeared completely? Bones and all? Ugh! I don't want to think about what happens in that chapel. Hmm. Don't be silly, Luke. We have to find out what happens to those women. Traditions, I just... I don't understand what's happening here. I know what you mean. Everything we've seen and heard so far has been very troubling. Indeed. A number of, number of unsettling incidents have taken place here. There may yet be an unexpected explanation, however. Who? What kind of explanation, Professor? All I can say is we should not sink into despondency yet just yet. Certainly not before we have a word with this fine lady, at least. Fine lady? Professor, do you mean... Ah, there you are. Beatrix? Shh, keep your voice down, will you? Just thought you should know I went to see her, that stubborn minx. Her? Surely you don't mean... Romilda? Honestly, pipe down, will you? Of course, Romilda. Who else would I be talking about? Brides escape from the chapel after the ceremony, don't they, madam? What? How do you know that? Well, as soon as I heard that the bride's clothes were left behind, I started to wonder. I thought perhaps someone would be waiting with a change of clothes for the brides, allowing them to escape. Oh, it's you, isn't it, Beatrix? You're the one who helps them. Women out here have been doing it for generations. It's the perfect way to leave the village. The men have no idea. So fucked up. That that's how they have to leave the village. So, Romilda's escaped as well, has she? Shh! I told you to keep your voice down! Actually, I'm having a little trouble with that at the moment. She's stubborn, you see. Stubborn and stupid. She must really believe she's calming the Dragon Lord's wrath up there in the chapel. What? Surely not. You'd think that seeing me wander in there would change things, but now she's even more determined and stubborn than ever. I really don't know what's gotten into her. None of the girls caused a fuss like this back in the day. Look, Beatrix, will you tell us the route? You, you took to the chapel. What's the point? If she won't listen to me, I doubt she's going to listen to some fancy pants strangers. In that case, we shall require some assistance from Julian. Julian, why him? He loves Romilda with all his heart. If there were, is anyone she would listen to, it would be him. Hmm. I... I suppose you're right. Though it does make feel a bit strange to think of a man using the secret forest path to the chapel. But it's the right thing to do. Now listen carefully, because you need to follow these steps exactly. Pick two mushrooms, then one strawberry, and repeat it till you reach the other side. And don't walk down any path twice. Every girl in the village knows these steps off by heart. Follow them to the letter or you'll never find the entrance tunnel. Thanks, Beatrix. I've got a dash. You lot shouldn't hang around here too, too long either. People will start to talk. Let's go and see Julian. Hopefully we can persuade him to help us. I think this section is just shorter than the other ones. It feels shorter than the other ones. I could be wrong, though. Julian, you've got to help us re rescue Romilda. Come on! You're here again? I thought I made it clear that all such efforts will accomplish naught. We have no information. There is a tunnel that will lead us straight into the chapel. Its entrance is on the other side of the forest. This is your chance, Julian. You can save your beloved Romilda. What? Fair Romilda. Yes, beloved Romilda. Rescue you, I will. 
not so loud. You don't want the whole village to know what we're up to, do you? No, no, fair maid, that is not what I want. Let us pass words within the windmill here, lest cruel winds carry them to prying ears. Well, it certainly seemed I was spring to step again. Oh, oh, indeed. And long may it continue. Please, time so fleeting does not but escape. Come pray inside with haste so we may speak. Very well, in we go. I don't actually know why we need to go to a secondary location at this point, but like, why not, right? Might as well. I forgot it did that. It's good to see you in high spirits, Julian. My spirits rise, but fear still clings on tight. Please tell me quickly of this forest path. Of course, though we must remain vigilant as we go through the forest. The earth beneath our feet could crumble at any moment. Be not concerned, comrades, for I shall lead. No man knows the land better than this swain. Is this a shovel which I see before me? The handle toward the wall. Come, let me clutch thee. Is that a Macbeth reference? That's a Macbeth reference. I don't know if that one works. I think I made this exact comment last time where I was like, I don't know about this one, guys. I don't... I don't know if this one works. Hi, I'm sorry. I was just looking at Twitch and it says new. Introducing stories on Twitch. Partners and affiliates who have had at least one stream in the last 30 days can post stories through their new Twitch mobile app features. Learn more on our blog. Oh, fuck. Shit. I just hit a button and it popped us back. That's not even how you... Is that how you load from the newest slot? I've never used that. Oh my god. Okay, it's just talking, so this will be fine, but I do think that this is wrong. The, uh, speeding up the emulation okay, doesn't do Annie, anything. Time to shine. What the fuck? Bring I, the next one. I didn't realize that was the shortcut for that I have set for um Sorry, I turned it up a little to get through this faster. Not exactly awesome for me trying to redo this. I don't think we hit any puzzles though. Or maybe we just hit one? Yeah, not awesome for me to do in the, we have to fix this stream. Different take on the music. It's faster now. It's not bad, sped up. But yeah, I don't know why they're doing Twitch stories. I don't use Twitch in that way where I would go watch, like, stories, you know? Like, the mobile app I only use if I absolutely have to, and when I do, it's because there is a stream that I wanted to watch. I don't know if Twitch- I'm sure Twitch stories will help some streams, but I'm certainly not about to make stories. I'll just continue not having followers, like, I don't- They already have clips, that's the thing, like, there are already Twitch clips, so I don't entirely know what the purpose of stories is, other than to be like, here is what I, like, to use it like Instagram, which is like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, maybe someone will. But like, I hate that every site ever has, has tried to introduce stories. Like, no, knock it off. I think I just have to get to the Macbeth line. There we go. Mm. 
Now the music sounds fucking weird. All right, we are ready. Weird Macbeth reference, and he walks away. Just a moment, Julie, and we haven't even explained the route yet. The route, ah, oh, yes, the route of which you spoke. Perhaps you could illuminate me now. Pick two mushrooms, then one strawberry, repeat until you reach the other side, and don't walk down any path twice. Though it eludes me how you know such things, I have no time and no desire to ask. Onwards, I must learn of Romilda's feelings true. I need to hear of them with mine own ears. I am sure you will have the opportunity to hear her at length, talk at length about such matters. This dilly-dally serves for naught, kind sir. Let us make haste, for fair Romilda waits. Oh, God. Terrible. Awful. Nightmarish. Alert me when you are prepared to go, then the trail to Ramilda we shall take. Yeah, right now, buddy. Your preparations are complete. Good news. Ramilda, love, we make our way to thee. Julie, and there's something I need to tell you. Pray tell, good sir. What need you say to me? We have a long and little journey ahead of us. If something happens along the way, you need to be prepared to go and rescue Romilda alone. Do not falter, Julia. Once people are gone, they cannot come back, no matter how much you want them to. Fear not, kind sir. For my Romilda suite, I happily will go to any length. But hark, the trees we seek lie up ahead. The way may be unclear, but I'll be strong. My feelings for Romilda as my guide. I shall cut through the forest and uh, until, uh, until I find a hole. A hole into the chapel. Yes, I foresee it will be a steep drop, but I only need... I need only leap down and... On second thoughts, it may be best to make sure Julian stays with us. We don't need another person to worry about. Missing person. Fuck. I agree. The poor man's probably going to get himself stuck into a ditch if we leave him to it. Come on, Julian. I'll we'll have you find the route through the forest. Such joyous news. Now follow everyone. We'll find that entrance in no time at all. Romilda, my sweet, we make haste for thee. Well, you can't fault his enthusiasm. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Oh, you know what? I have a different version of Citra now. That's why I was like, I've never used these shortcuts before. This version of Citra has save and load state shortcuts and the one I was using didn't and that's why I was like I have never seen that before because I didn't have it before fascinating fruits and fungi our love struck hero Julian must lead everyone through this forest and into the chapel one wrong turn though and they'll all be hopelessly lost luckily Le Leighton and the others know a trick to making it through pick two mushrooms then one strawberry and repeat until you reach the other side so that's a control. Cool. Do and uh, do not walk down any path twice. Can you help Julian find the secret path through the forest and make it to the other side of one piece? Two, two, one. Not that way. I think I did this backwards before. I think that's what I might have done. Oh, not that color. Then one, two, strawberry. One, two, strawberry. One, two, strawberry. Okay. Want an answer? How's this? Yay! We did it! Piece of cake! Let me win! There he is, walking through the forest! This 
must be the entrance that Beatrix is talking about. A tunnel here, in midst of trees and hills. The light of the Azran, it's getting stronger. Well, in that case, we'd better hurry. Make your way through the tunnel. What in the world? Alas, our trail is blocked by boulders great. But this must be the path that Beatrix took. What happened here? The passage has collapsed. Beatrix took quite a risk in coming through here. We've got to do something to move these rocks out of the way, Professor. Or we'll never make it to the chapel. Stand back, fair maiden. I shall take care of this. With spade in hand, I'll clear the path of rocks. Damn. Powerful. Strong guy. Very strong guy. Ah! Phew. Moving boulders is no easy task. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> that sound? Is that... I'm sorry, Julian. Sweet joy, tis true. Romilda, she still breathes. Let's hurry. Oh god. Sycamore, your face. Construction. There's no doubt about it. Fuck that up. Who'd have thought there'd be something like this hidden all the way down here? Ramilda! Ramilda! Where are you, Ramilda? Everything froze. Oh, there she is. Hey, girl! Oh, Ramilda! Julian! What are you doing here? Julian's come to rescue you, Ramilda. You have no idea who I am. No, you can't be here. You've got to go. I'm married to the Dragon Lord now. Don't be so naive, Ramilda. Listen, we've come all this way to save you. Let's hurry up and get out of here. I... I can't. I'm staying here. My fair Ramilda, think of what you do. What sense makes it for you to end your life when you know this custom is absurd? The Dragon Lord has wed so many times, yet nothing changes. Not, never shall he stop. You surely see that locking people up does not provide us with the peace we seek. Yeah, but even so, it won't be for nothing. You know, if I die? Ramilda, please, whatever do you mean? I'm not going to turn into wind. And I'm not going to run away. I'm going to die here and leave my body behind for everyone to see. And though I'll realize the Dragon Lord doesn't care about these human offerings. Ramilda. Don't you get it? If I do this, it'll put a stop to all these horrible ceremonies, and the people of Hoogland will finally get some peace. I'm really sorry, Julian, but this is how it has to be. Romilda, no! This ending need not be! Romilda, please. Why is she smiling? Lo, here's the idol they worship so. I shall see it gone in our village freed. Oh, and doesn't. Rare. Uh, what? There he go! Lock. What in the world? Uh. The purpose of that symbol is to drive away those who would harm the Azran. It lets those who would attempt to interfere with their workings know that their efforts will have no effect. And it shows them by putting their weapons right out of their hands. Whoa, like a giant magnet. It all makes sense now. This altar, these ruins. What's going on? What are you doing to the Dragon Lord? She's not British. Why'd I do that? Huh. Milda, we are about to put an end to the Dragon Lord's wrath once and for all. You. you what? Romilda, put your faith in them, my dear. They brought me to this place and wish to help. If we want peace, we must believe in them. Not for those these good people at my side, we would not be staring we'd not be standing here together now, and never would I have another chance to tell you how I feel. Oh, Julian. That 
Walter holds the key to solving the mystery of the dragon door. Okay. I'll remember this one. Ah, fuck, I thought we were going into a puzzle. Hold on, I, I put, like, candy in my mouth. I thought I had a second and now they're making me voice out. This is so rude. Okay. You've noticed it as well, have you? This dragon lord altar, it... It is an Azran device designed to manipulate wind currents in the area. And yes, I had noticed. Second nerds. It's it now. Though it seems to be creating a countercurrent that flows directly against the main one. That must be the cause of all the whirlwinds here. The harmony here it has been disrupted. Oh, I wonder if someone has interfered with the control panel. I doubt the Azran intended to leave it like this. Then we should do something to fix it. The cylinder should all be erased so that the light can shine through. I see. Well, Professor, shall we take a look at this control panel, though? Then, let's. Jesus Christ. Fucking archaeology nerd hour over here. I still think this is silly because I, fuck, I'm so bad at these. I truly, the first time we played this, thought that it was like some sort of magnet situation and they're like, no, it's wind currents. It's like, it's wind currents? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Anyway. How is a wind current hold pinning us, uh, pinning a sh metal shovel to the ceiling? That's my question. The control panel for the device has nine buttons, one for every cylinder. Pressing the button activates a total of seven cylinders, starting with one corresponding to the button pressed, and then followed by every second cylinder in a clockwise direction. To fix the device, Layton must make all nine cylinders visible by pressing a single button. Can you help him choose? You have only three chances. Good luck. Take that, bestie. I'm just doing process of elimination because I'm really bad at these. And you'll all have to deal. Hope you're having fun! Let's shed some light on this one. Ooh, you said that first line slowly. Excellent, if I do say so myself. And to do. The device should be working properly now. I added a word in there. The device should work properly now. The, that light? What's going on? The imbalance has been rectified and harmony is restored. All is as it should be. Are you? Cutscene? Oh. Just a close up. Egg moment. Egg acquired. Everything is in its rightful place. Oh god, your face. That girl, is she the Dragon Lord's messenger or something? Has that which we've accomplished here brought peace? Shall Hoogland now be blessed by tranquil winds? Indeed, I believe that should put an end to the wrath of the Dragon Lord. Now, how about we return to the surface? All under control. 
Miss Wind, something unusual has taken place, and something unusual takes place still. Why are there noises coming from inside the chapel? I shall have to open the door and see for myself. Great! You, what on earth are you doing inside the chapel? Sage Shepherd. The Dragon Lord's most wrathful winds do cease. I tell you, with our triumph comes great joy, for fair Remilda's life has been preserved. What do you mean, dear boy? What has happened? The altar in your chapel was built by an ancient civilization. Something caused it to become imbalanced, which in turn caused the harsh winds you have come to know in this village. Sycamore's voice is never going to be consistent, and I hate that about myself. It's no I've never gotten one for him. Fortunately, we were able to fix the issue. Only fair winds will blow through your village from now on. What? But how? Everything has been restored to how it should be. This fair wind is yours to enjoy. Allow it to heal you. Allow it to spread the seeds for the better future. Are you... Oh my! You are a disciple of the Dragon Lord, are you not? What have I been doing all this time? I refuse to listen to you. I spent my life defending this village's customs. Goodness knows how many brides I've sacrificed. Well, we wouldn't have been able to resolve the imbalance if Romilda hadn't gone through with the ceremony. In a way, your final sacrifice did eventually bring peace to the village. Oh, I see. It's just like, oh, okay. The Bride of Hoogland. The whirlwinds that devastated Hoogland were caused by an imbalance in the Azran technology found within the chapel. Restoring the balance has brought an end to the destructive winds and the wedding ceremonies that appeased the non-existent dragon god. I'm glad the people of Hoogland will at last give up this unsavory tradition. These. Ah, yeah, we haven't been to Peponio in this version. That makes sense. In debt to you I shall forever be, for were it not for your heroic deeds, this fool would have no love, no home, no peace. I really owe you one. You saved my life. If it wasn't for you, I don't even want to think about it. But listen, you won't tell anyone about how Beatrix has been helping the brides, will you? You wouldn't be fair on her, or on all the brides she saved. Be a not Romilda. It shall be our secret. I'm so glad we were able to get them back together. They look so happy. And we got hold of the egg, too. Talk about two birds with one stone. Is that a good joke? Oh, indeed, Luke. Now let us return to the Bostonius. Wow, Bostonius moment. Okay, and after we get back to the Bostonius, I would actually like to do a quick pose. Um after we do this section, so I can figure out where we have to stop in the next one. A warm welcome back on board. I trust you breezed through your investigation. Actually, yes. I wouldn't say it was that easy, but we did manage to find the egg, and even some Azran technology that still works. My word, who thought it? The winds in this area have calmed as well. Perhaps this village has found peace at last. Simply let me know whenever you are ready to proceed to your next destination. Professor Layton? Emmy, there are some things about the Azran era that have returned to me. Ah, your memories are coming back. Yes, some. I can see a windy valley, and there are thousands of bird-like machines all gliding on the breeze. It sounds as though the Azran had some aircraft of their own. Yes, I think they are a kind of aircraft. They carry people and other things. And they keep flying, never stopping to land. Do you know how sharks never stop moving? Isn't that a thing? Sharks, they can never stop moving or they'll die. I think it's not like that, but they're flying. That's very exhausting. That's my opinion. It's hard to imagine what sorts of things the Azran must have had. They didn't have any windmills like the ones we've seen in Hoogland, though. Those windmills are an example of the creativity of your civilization. Seeing that made me really happy. <laughs> That's good to hear, Aurora. Alright, I'd like to suggest we take this opportunity to depart. I believe we've all had quite enough of Hoogland's wins for now. Alright. Quick pause.
The, um, the amount of times I've almost saved into my own other one, I actually should have saved in the third, so I wouldn't. Um, no, well, we can stay here, because you can't see. No? It's like, you can't see, and then I immediately pulled up. But I am going to pause the desktop audio stream for a sec, so I can open it up without having weird things happen. So I can pull up the last Azran. There it is. I just need to get, like, the line the line that we got to, basically, so I can figure out where to stop. Okay. So it is in Phoenix Square. Investigate around town. Let me write this down. Sorry you're just uh, sitting in silence because I don't have the music on because I need to listen to. I have the audio on this video on. I know this might be hard for you, but can you remember anything that might have caused your... Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Your hand hurts. Oh no. Well, I'm glad you got it done. There is that. Okay. Um. <laughs> Wait, Aurora. Sharks existed in as red times. Sharks have existed in every time. What do you mean? All right. We are so close to be done. To be done? To being done. I will say, I think originally we might have done some, like, extra puzzles, talked to some extra people. I don't know what, and I am trying to get through this, so I guess go watch a better playthrough. <laughs> a more, um, comprehensive one. That's a good word. A more comprehensive one. This appears to be one of the locations marked. Oh, you need the sound back, don't you? You need the sound back. Luckily, all you missed was some music. Just, you want this sound back, I presume. There's no music right now, it's just humming from the sound, from the plane. Um, on the walls of the Azran Dome. I feel the power of the Azran resonating. There's surely an aura stone here. I just hit my ring against the mic stand. Awesome! Yeah, it, if you want to know more about Hoogland or the walled city that I haven't, that I won't do all of, uh, go watch Slizer playthrough and not me. The walls of this city do resemble Azran architecture. There is a lot to indicate that we're in the right place. Well, shall we disembark? My latent got a little weird there because I'm getting a little hoarse. I was just trying to see if these houses, just, like, spelt out a word. No. No. I do want to say right before we start, um, this is not my favorite section for character designs. I don't know how to feel about it. Um, yeah. With any luck, it won't be long until we have the egg in our possession. In a way, these streets remind me a little of London. They're much quieter though. How are we- how sure are we that the egg is here again? In the city of Mosidia sleeps the eternal phoenix. Phoenix! Or so the legend goes. Well, there's a bird. There's probably an egg. Hmm. I wonder if this legend of the phoenix may not be connected to the Azran Riders of the Sky. Not the most scientific theory, but given that the town is enclosed in Azran walls, I'd say it has some merit. Fucking nerds! Losers! Well, that's good to hear, but where do we start? There's no one around. Perhaps the city's residents are all indoors. Let's try the nearest house. Voids. And this door flaps open every time there's a gust of wind. It's creepy. They should really be repaired. They should no whoa, no 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 no. They should really repair it. And a passerby could see inside. I guess someone forgot to lock it. That's one thing that we also aren't doing, is all these little things that I actually tend to really like doing. Oh. Oh I found a mystery item. I never find those. 
suppose they light these candles when night falls. How on earth did they light the candles all the way up there? I worry about hot wax dripping on my head as I walk through here. I suppose they use this board to post local notices and the like. One of these posters is the advertising for a position in a local shop. The smaller notices seem like private messages. I wonder who they're for. It's like, where am I clicking? Excuse me, is anybody there? Hello? Hmm. There doesn't appear to be anyone home. All the streets are deserted. It's a little bit creepy. But if there is something not quite right here. Let's keep moving. There we go. That's what I need to do. Hello, video game. Keep up. Great moment! Great moment! Mmm, these grapes look really fresh and juicy. I prefer white grapes to red, but I'm not fussy, can't relate. Videos have existed for almost as long as civilization itself. We love a wine. Do you guys think Sycamore is a wine guy? We talked about him being a mixed, like a fruity mixed drink guy, didn't we? Like a, like a cocktail, like a fruity drink cocktail guy? How do you think he feels about wine? How am I finding all these mystery items that I didn't find the first time? I don't know if he got a single mystery item on the first playthrough. Professor Sycamore, look! That golden statue looks like a phoenix. Do you think it's part of the legend? I uh, very much doubt it. In the eyes of the Azran, even the purest gold was of little worth. Oh yes, of course. There was a chapter about it in Rutledge's Ancient Histories, wasn't there? Scratch that theory, then. Hmm. Turn up a soul around. Please, you've to help me think. Or get our way. Did you hear that? It came from over there, quickly. Back this way. I thought old people were supposed to be nice! Why won't you help me? Oh fuck, these guys have voices. Their voices are just gonna be wrong, sorry. Rook, do you hear that? You called us out. Where we come from, that's a crime, you know. Zip Bishop. Boy, let me make something very clear. I'm a perfectly eligible bachelor. Not unlike you took down to. Ugh, that's none of your business. You're treading on thin ice bread. Out of the way before you could get this. Rook, I reckon that Phoenix bird over there has the egg we're looking for. Let's not waste our time before we do this pit's week. Ugh, this is why I don't trust grown-ups. Wow, he lost those two for help. He must be really desperate. He will not drink a cheap wine. A cheap mixer, a cheap cocktail? Sure, but not wine. Okay. Oh, I missed your first message. Sycamore loves a good bottle. He's a big fucking picky though. Alright, you know what? I totally buy that. He will have your shitty, cheap, mixed cocktail gross concoction slam it will not tolerate can you imagine if someone gave him boxed wine absolutely the fuck not no way indeed shall we offer our assistance hey kid oh, you came from outside the city didn't you please I really need your help everything's gone wrong and I've Slow down. What is your name, young man? I hope I remember how I was pronouncing this. Oh, sorry, my name's Umid. Hello there, Umid. My name is Desmond Sycamore, and this is Professor Layton. Would you care to tell us what's wrong? Oh, it's the adults. They're all... Oh. One morning, my mom wouldn't wake up. I shook her and shook her, but I couldn't get more than a few mumbles out of her. The other grown-ups are exactly the same. They're all just lying there, sleeping. And have been for a whole week. It's just like Barbie Island Princess. A whole week? How bizarre. So every adult in the city is currently in some sort of coma. I know it's hard to believe, but please come to my house. You can see for yourself. It's just over here. Come on, maybe you grown-ups will think of a way to wake her up. Video game, pull it together. 
love them walking down at the bottom. They're so fun. I love that part. The woman in bed would your blah 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 blah. Ugh. The woman in bed would he be your mother? I presume. Yeah, it seems like she's been like this for ages. I love the latent doom noise. You know, there's something about the doom noise and like zoom in on whatever object they want us to look at that just like is so funny to me. I love it. I don't know what to do. Well, her pulse is steady and her breathing seems normal. I don't believe she's in any immediate danger, aside from the fact that it's been a week. <laughs> that's not good! Sycamore, that's not good! You don't know what caused her to end up in this state. If I did, I wouldn't be asking you. She doesn't respond to a single thing I say. No one can do anything. I just... I can't handle this anymore. It was a glorious phenomenon. The only thing I can think of is... Well... It's an old Mycenaean legend. The story goes that long ago a mighty phoenix with healing powers swooped down on Mycenae and made it her home. She would slumber for months, even years at a time, but when she was awoken, tears of joy would stream from her eyes. Those tears were said to cure any illness. The people of the city collected the tears and used them to heal the sick. So, if I can find the phoenix and wake her up, maybe her tears will help the grown-ups wake up too. Look, you might not believe it, but I don't have any other choice. Actually, it's often the case that legends have some vestige of truth to them. There may be a chance such a thing exists. It's the only hope I have left. I'll do whatever it takes, please. If you promise to help me, I'll guide you through the city. I'll show you anything you want. I need- I actually need- I actually- I genuinely think that I need to find, like- a, like a like an mp3 of the doom noise isolated so i can put it on my stream deck and just give it like make it like a like i can just hit it at any point and we can just hear a latent doom noise when needed because i feel like other games would benefit from me being able to do a latent doom noise you know because it's so funny i love it. it's so good tears of the phoenix Azran tradition remains strong in Mycidia, but n the entire adult population of the town is fast asleep. It seems that Phoenix's tears would rouse the locals from their slumber, but does such a mythical creature even exist? Why is it only the adults that are asleep, I wonder? Um, my theory previously, and I won't say how it stands, my theory that I came up with immediately last time, 100%, was that it was the wine. And the reason, whoop, that's not what I wanted at all. The reason is these grapes over here, these yummy, yummy grapes. I think that there was wine and alcohol and that somehow had to do something. So, what? Tamir, I think. Hey, who are you? Why do you sleep like daddy? Are you sleepwalking? No, no, I'm quite sure we're awake. Though, the situation you poor children is seems like a bad dream to me. So real, any game can be improved with the latent doom noise. We are currently trying to find a way to wake the adults of your city. Our friend Umid here believes the phoenix might be the key. Ah, the phoenix. Yeah, I saw that once. Wanna hear about it? Wait, actually, can you help me with the puzzle first? I'm really stuck on it. I'm doing a little dance. All right. <sighs> Snake squeezing ta- Oh, these ones. So, squeezing a section of slithering serpents into a small pot like this is no problem for an experienced snake charmer. In fact, though you, even though you might not think this pot here could hold more than nine snakes that are already in it, with a bit of rearranging, you can definitely fit in the tent. There's no trickery involved, and the snakes don't overlap each other. Care to give it a go? See if you can get all ten snakes to fit in this pot. Well, I've done it before! Isn't that just the way? Isn't that just the way? Fucking no clue how I did it. Now sit in silence as I attempt to maybe this 
This goes up here. This goes here. I think this could go here. No, it couldn't. No, it couldn't. Just kidding. LOL. Oh, that can go in- oh. I ended up needing to use a hint for this one last time. Nope, I don't think I did. <laughs> we did it. Let's Just shed kidding. some light on Got this. Got Excellent. If I do say so myself. We did it! Snake Charming gets... Wow, you're clever. Okay, so the Phoenix, right? Did you see that big hill outside the city? It's called Phoenix's Rest. We always get told off if we play anywhere near it. But once, right, I saw this huge, humongous bird perched on the hill, and it looked me right in the eye. A large bird at Phoenix's Rest. Sounds like a lead to me. This might be the last section we have to do, if I remember right. This whole forest section. I believe when we go back into the village after the forest section, which is the second, we are complete. If the grown-ups were around, they'd yell at us and tell us not to go anywhere near that place. I know it's probably to keep us safe, but this is different. If the phoenix really lives on that hill, then we have to go. It just looks so creepy. So wish there were some grown-ups yelling at us not to go right now. And then he looks directly at the professors and Emmy and is like, oh, I wish the grown-ups would tell us to stay here, within the walls, where it's safe. And the professors and Emmy are just like staring at him like, what do you want us to do? <laughs> what do you want, Luke? <laughs> they can tell me off all they like when they wake up. I'll just be happy they're back to normal. Hello, Nikki. No worries. We don't have too much longer, and also we technically already know this part. But, um, thank you. We haven't been doing too many puzzles, because we're mostly just getting through this for the mod. But, yeah, I mean, the puzzles have been going well, shockingly. I'm truly shocked by how okay the puzzles have gone. That's it? Is that the phoenix? Oh god, they're loading. Squawk, gurk, gurk, squawk. Oh, sorry, we didn't mean to disturb you. We came here hoping to see the phoenix. Is that you? Squawk, squawk. Oh, but you've been here a long time, haven't you? Squawk, 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 squawk. Ah, so you're waiting for her. Did you say she sparkles? That sounds mystical enough. I bet she's the one we're looking for then. Do you know when she might be back? We'd really like to meet her too. I like how often in this game they're like, Reminder, Luke speaks to animals. In case you forgot. Now, now. Well, I don't think we'll be able to wait that long. But how do you know she's nearby? Squawk! 
Oh, lots of a keen sense of smell. Scrap, 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 That was pretty rough, but it's fine. You get the gist. His bird calls. You think she's inside there? That doesn't sound very likely. I think that's a sluice gate. We looked this up last time. Sluice. Sluice gate. Oh, you know, it's like a door for water, and never mind, it's not important. It was nice to meet you, Ander. Squawk! Kawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawawaw
and I'm going to pull up that I is this where we were one sec Okay, so I know what the next scene is after this that, so if we get to this, um, so I'm gonna do this scene with Tamir, and if the next part of us sends us to a place with a hill, then we'll stop. A little early, but honestly, I have to do some zine stuff and go to bed. So, it's fun. Yes, okay, um, I'll read this just to be safe. Now, Tamir, I know this might be hard for you, but can you remember anything that might have caused your father to be father to fall ill. Um, you know, I guess there might be one thing. We had a massive festival the night before in honor of the phoenix. Me and daddy helped ourselves to all the food we could eat. My tummy's never stuck out as much as it did then. That sounds sensational. But when we got home, right, I heard daddy go out through the back. Drinking. Drinking. I thought he might be going for seconds. Well, more like sevens. But then, why didn't he invite me? Drinking. So that must be when whatever happened, happened. It sounds that way, alright. Come on, let's see if we can gather some more facts about this festival. Wait, you're gonna go? Then who am I gonna play with? What about the other children? Can't you play with them? I already asked. There's a girl that hangs around Precious Hill, but she's only ever wants to play with whom men. It's not fair. Well, it's quite the popular one, isn't it? How about we pay the gal a visit? So you're not gonna play with me then? Well, if she doesn't look very moody, can you ask her for me again? I do believe that that's where we have caught up to the Vod. Yes, okay. That is all of this game, and I looked at the time. We are like significantly earlier than usual. Usually I'd play for another 40 minutes, but I'm kind of like, I could play Stardew. Um. I don't know. Here, let me wrap up the VOD for the VOD that I'm gonna make first. Uh, thank you all for coming. Sorry about this. Sorry about the weirdness. I'll be back to uploading VODs as often as humanly possible because the backlog I've got to get through is genuinely fucking terrifying. So, yep. Thank you all for coming. See you next time.